Hello, kids. I'm Kiki. I'm Quacky the Quacky Duckling. Quacky, would you like to go to a super fun place today? Yeah, a fun place. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Magic Cube, go. That is the place, the zoo. Wow. Hurry, let's go. Hey. The world is fun. Let's go explore. Wow, the zoo! I am so happy! What was that just now? So fast! It was like a gust of wind! Too fast! I couldn't see it clearly! Forget it! Let's go look at the animals! Wow, they are so cute! What are they? They are meerkats! Quacky, did you find a different looking meerkat? Let me figure it out! No, it's not right! Not this one! Try again! No, it's not right! That's it! That's right! Huh? Who are you? Why are you in the zoo? I am number elf one! Oh! You are a number elf! Quacky, what do you think the number one looks like? I got it! Pencil! Yes! The number one is not only like a standing meerkat, but also like a long and thin pencil! Let's do a test! Which of the following can be represented by number one? Which of the following can be... No, it's not right! Not this one! Try again! Correct! That's right! A tree and a bunch of flower all can be represented by number one! And one Kiki, right? <laughs> That's right! And one Quacky! Meerkat is dirty! Let's help it take a shower! Good idea! Let's go find some water! Go! Write the number one and collect water! Let's collect some more water! One. A meerkat! Let's give him a bath! One! Yeah! Let's go see some other animals! Wow! What are the big white birds? They are swans! Quacky, did you find a different swan? Where is it? No, it's not right! Not this one! Drop! That's it! That's right! It's number elf two! What does the number two look like? I got it! Duck! Yes! The number two looks like a duck with a long neck! Let's do a test! Which of the following can be represented by number two? No, it's not right! That's right! Two apples and two lollipops can be represented by number two! Lollipop! I love the lollipop! <laughs> Let's go find some food for the swans! Go! Write the number two and collect food. Let's collect some more food. One, two, two swans. Let's see what they want to eat. One, two. Yeah, let's go see some other animals. What are they? They're making bubbles. They are seahorses. I want to learn how to make bubbles like seahorse. Um, I cannot do this. <laughs> no, it's not right. Not this one. No, not this one. That's it. That's right. It's number L3. <laughs> what does the number three look like? I got it. Butterfly's wings. Yes. The number three not only looks like a seahorse, it's also like butterfly wings. Let's do a test. Which of the following can be represented by three? No, it's not right. Correct! That's right! Three bananas and three balls can be represented by number three. One, two, three. Seahorses are all hidden somewhere. Can you help us to find three seahorses? Sure! One, two, three. Wow, nice! You found three seahorses. Let's take them home. Write the number three and take them home. Yeah! Let's go see some other animals. They are doves who say cuckoo! Great! You know so many things! Because I'm a smart duck! Did you find a different dove? No, not this one. No, it's not right. 
That's it! That's right! <laughs> That's number L4! What does the number 4 look like? I got it! Like a little red flag! Yes! The number 4 not only looks like a dove spreading the wings, but also looks like a flag! Let's do a test! Which of the following can be represented by number 4? No, it's not right! Not this one! Try again! Correct! That's right! Four dinosaurs and four cars can be represented by number four. Dinosaur! Let's help the doves take a shower. Sure! Let's go find some water. Go! And collect water. Let's collect some more water. One, two, three, four. Let's help the four doves to take a shower. This is number L5. I guess it is hidden here. Number 5 looks different from other foxes. Where is it? No, it's not. Not this one. Try again. That's it. That's right. What does number 5 look like? I got it. Like a hook. Yes. The number 5 not only looks like a fox with a long tail, it also looks like a hook. Let's do a test. Which of the following can be represented by number 5? No, it's not right. Correct! That's right! Five flowers and five candies can be represented by number five. Wow, candies! I am going to eat them all! If you eat so many candies, you may have stomachache. Alright, then I am not going to eat them. <laughs> Let's help the fox take a shower. Sure! Let's go find some water. Go! Write number five and collect water. Let's collect some more water. One, two, three, four, five. Let's help the five foxes to take a shower. Practice with... Hello, kids. I'm Kiki. This is my good friend, Quacky. Huh? Quacky? Let's go find Quacky. Magic cube, go! The destination is confirmed. The world is fun. Let's go explore. Quacky, why did you come here by yourself? There are so many number elves still missing. I am so worried. Then let's continue to look for the number elves. Let's go. Don't miss even one. This is number elf six. It is hiding here. Number six looks different from the other bunnies. Where is it? That's it. That's right. What does the number six look like? I got it. Whistle. Yes. The number six has a long ear like a rabbit and also looks like a whistle. Little whistle. Toot, toot, toot. Let's do a test. Which of the following can be represented by number six? That's it. That's right. Six people and six cars can be represented by number six. Little car. Beep, beep, beep. Let's go find something for the rabbits to eat. Go. Write number six and collect the food. Let's collect some more food. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six rabbits. Let's see what they want to eat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go find the other number elves. What is this? This is a toucan. The beak of the toucan is so big, but mine is not small either. <laughs> This is number elf seven. The one that looks different from other toucans is seven. Can you find it? Let's look for it. That's it. That's right. What does the number seven look like? I got it. It looks like a hoe. Yes. The number seven not only looks like a toucan, but also looks like a hoe. Let's do a test. Which of the following can be represented by seven? That's it. That's right. Seven glasses of juice can be represented by number seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. The toucans are hiding. Can you help find the seven toucans? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, found the seven toucans. Let's send them home. Write the number seven and send them home. What kind of animal is this? This is a bear. Chubby bear, so cute! <laughs> this is number elf eight. Number eight is in the middle of them. The one that looks different is number eight. That's it! That's right! What does the number eight look like? I got it! It looks like a snowman. Yes! In addition to being chubby like a bear, the number eight also looks like a snowman. Let's do a test. Which of the following can be represented by eight? No, it's not right. Not this one. Try it. That's it. That's right. Eight crayons can be represented by number eight. Let's go find some food for the bears. Go! Write the number eight and collect the food. Let's collect some more food. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's see what the eight bears want to eat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go find the other number elves. This is number elf nine. Can you find the number nine among the tadpoles? What? That's it! That's right! What does the number nine look like? I got it! Spoon! Yes! The number nine has a long tail like a tadpole and also looks like a spoon. The number nine has a long tail and I have a short tail! <laughs> Let's do a tip. No, it's not right. That's it! That's right! Nine balloons can be represented by number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tadpoles are hiding. Can you help find the nine tadpoles? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. Wow, found the nine tadpoles. Let's send them home. Write the number 9 and send the tadpoles home. Yeah! Let's go find other number elves. Let's go over to the snails. Sure! This is number elf 10. The number 10 looks different from other snails. Let's look for it! That's it! That's right! What does the number 10 look like? I got it! Like a sausage and an egg! Yes! The number 10 not only looks like a snail, but also looks like a sausage and an egg! My mouth is watering! <laughs> I'll take you to eat it tomorrow! Sure! Let's do a test! Which of the following can be represented by 10? No, it's not right! That's it! That's right! 10 cookies can be represented by number 10! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The snails are hiding. Can you help find them? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, found the ten snails. Let's send them home. Write the number 10 and send them home. Yeah! 
Thank you for helping us find old number elves. You're welcome. It's not that difficult for me. Quacky, we're going back too. With Quacky. Hello, kids. I'm Kiki. I'm Quacky, the Quacky Duckling. Magic Cube, go! I've got a problem. Can you help me? Quacky, let's go and help Grandpa Turtle. Go! The world is so interesting. Let's go explore the mystery. Turtle, what happened? I took a nap after lunch, and when I got up, I found that all the kids in the underwater kindergarten were missing. Can you help me find them? Kiki, they went out on their own. What if they run into a scary shark? You're right. We need to find the kids as soon as possible. Grandpa Turtle, how many kids are there in the kindergarten? There should be a total of... I can't remember. I'm old and can't remember things. Well, how do we know how many kids are lost? Let me think about it. That's a group photo of the kids in the kindergarten. We'll know if we count them. What? Me count. One, two, three, four. There's two rows. How do I count them in order? I will tell you the answer. Look, in this photo, they're standing in two rows. We can count them row by row. Let's start from the first row. Kids, can you count? One, two, three, four, five. There are five kids in the first row. Let's continue with the second row. We've counted to five just now. Next, let's count from six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got it. There are a total of ten kids in the photo. Yes. Let's go and find the ten lost kids. Go. Quacky, the octopuses are hiding here. Can you find them? Where are they? I didn't see them. The octopuses often change their color to hide from their enemies. Wow! The octopuses are amazing. They must be good at hide and seek. <laughs> Look, that's the octopus. Let's find the other octopuses. Let's count how many octopuses we found. We found six kids. There's still four kids left. Let's continue. Go! What is this place? It's so dark. Here is the deep water area. The baby lanternfish are hiding here. But it's dark here. How do we find them? We can use a flashlight to help us find them. First, let's charge our flashlight. Great job! Yeah! Wow! We found two baby lanternfish! Let's count how many kids we found! found eight kids. There's still two missing. Let's continue. Go! The baby crabs are hiding in the sand pit. Let's dig them out. Sure. I love digging the most. Four, five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha <laughs> The shark is gone. Let's take them back to the kindergarten. Grandpa Turtle, we found all the kids. Thank you for taking these naughty kids back for me. You're welcome. Let's take a picture together. Sure. Fuck. <laughs> 